welcome to April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month, we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Cancer. Okay, so the general overarching theme for your month. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks kind of lusty, kind of passionate, kind of fiery, right? But it's all about swift action, what you do quickly, spontaneously, living in the moment, finding that passion. Now the beginning of the month for you, um, it's not dissimilar from Virgos. There's not a lot to talk about, not much to say, um, not a lot of communication between you and other people. And then the middle of the month, you're in this space where you're allowing other people to help you, where um, other people are surrounding you and offering support. And then at the end of the month, you're feeling disconnected um, on an emotional front to the people around you to the people who are important. You're not necessarily emotionally connecting to things that matter to you. So that might sound scary, but is that a bad thing? And they're like, no, because all that's gonna do is force you to go out and talk about um, the things that do matter, right? It'll force you to take an action to get things handled, um, to talk things through, to have difficult conversations that are needed. So what's going to, what's going to be going very well for you this month and what they're saying is that there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, um, sometimes we think we leave the past in the past, but then we have this history that, or this idea or fear that history is going to repeat itself in a negative way. And they're like, that's not there for you at all this month. Everything is new and it's exciting. And that's actually a really good thing for you. Um, whatever was in the past that you needed to leave behind, you really did. And so awesome what's going to be the biggest challenge for you. And the biggest challenge is knowing what's most important, you know? What do I care about most? What should I prioritize? There's a lot of confusion about, you know, the chicken and the egg, what comes first and what do I do? So, um, what do you really do about that? And I guess they're like, this is why you gotta talk it out, you know? This is about talking about your feelings and that's why, you know, if you come to this conclusion or you're facing this challenge at the end of the month, that's gonna be more difficult than if you face it head on in the beginning of the month, which is why it's important to have this information now if you're watching this towards the beginning. Um, now, what is it that you should be avoiding? And we're switching over to our fuck it deck. And they're just like, fuck, yes, just do it. You shouldn't be avoiding anything, actually. Everything that feels good is a yes. Hell yes, don't be kicking the can down the road, just get into something. And you know, I think that further helps you clarify that confusion energy that you have. Okay, I don't know, what do I do first? Should I do this or this or this? And then you just sit there and you're confused and you start feeling shitty, whereas like, just randomly choose one thing and, and head out the door with it. You know, get moving on that one task or that one thing, dealing with that. Um, so the best way to use this month to your advantage and they're saying being like a childlike, like anything is possible, optimist um, does create all sorts of opportunities for you. You've come a long way, you've done a lot of growth, whether you realize it or not, and you're about to blossom. And so this is kind of a month that becomes a launching pad for you in a lot of ways for who you've always wanted to be, to achieve the things you've always wanted to achieve. And it just kind of it hinges on your ability to stay positive and then just start something. It doesn't matter where you start. There's not a right or a wrong. Just do one thing and then stick with it over time and then add things in over time. It's the consistency that's key for you this month. They're like, have that dreamlike state that anything is possible for you. Um, and, you know, whether you 
have the money or you don't or whether to achieve your dreams or you have the connections that you need or you don't like nothing can stop you all you need to do is start working on creating those things for yourself one step at a time and it doesn't matter which one happens first they're saying um for some of you that haven't let go of things that haven't left things in the past that you needed to whether those are mindsets or people or you know um it's, it's time because you're not going to be able to embrace these energies and really use them to your advantage like cancer can if you're stuck there. Um, this is a month, like I said, allowing other people to help you, even asking for help, is what's going to bring you to that happily ever after. I really love that you have happily ever after at the closing of your reading because, I mean, don't we all want that? Isn't the, that the point? So I'll see you in May. <laughs>